Hi, my name is Tristessa Brown, and I wrote this next piece, Dark Days. I wrote the text as a way to cope with the new year and everything it entailed. As with most of my compositions, I took inspiration from my own experiences and the current societal climate. That said, you'll notice I took the opportunity to play with the technology that I've used during quarantine by creating an overdubbed choir of myself. There are three vocal parts, all sang three times. Despite the name, Dark Days is a song for a hope for a better tomorrow. I hope you enjoy. From dark days, from long years, find your light. Take bow, knife, and bird in hand, but Hello, I am Zazlyn Hall, and the piece that you're about to hear is Flute A2, number one. The inspiration behind this piece was to apply some new compositional techniques, as well as to write a piece that is idiomatic for the flute. While listening, watch out for the return of the opening dance-like passage towards the end. I would like to thank Jennifer Gartley for her performance of this piece. I hope you all enjoy.
My name is Addie Struckman and I composed the piano solo that you're about to hear. The title of my piece is called Searching and I didn't really have a specific narrative or topic in mind when writing like I usually do. Um, I really just wanted to focus on the music itself and writing idiomatically for the piano. So when I sat down to write this piece, um, I came up with this cluster of notes that I loved the sound of. And what I did with that is in the very beginning, I introduce all of those notes individually and the pianist holds down the pedal and they kind of just blend together in this free and floating idea. And after that, the piece takes you through a couple different moods. And something I really want you to listen for is this motive. And it sounds like this. Da, da, da. And it comes about in a couple of different forms, um, especially at the very end, it wraps up the piece um, after we hear the floating idea again. Um, so even though I don't have a specific story to follow, um, I still think that everyone is searching for something. Um, so I hope that as you listen, um, my music can take you on some sort of journey. Um, so I really want to thank Caleb O'Carroll for playing my piece. He sounds beautiful and I hope you all enjoy. Thank you.
Hello everyone, my name is Sun Fa, and I'm the composer for the next piece you're gonna hear, Strange Flower, for solo viola played by my very good friend Dragomir. So in the piece, you will hear two very distinct sections defined by the technique used on the viola. One will, uh, where he will be using the bowl um, as usual, and the other, he will pluck the string with his finger. So, I hope you enjoy. My name is Zach Tesh. Uh, the piece you're about to hear, saxophone, uh, is a, a, a series of uh, short etudes that I wrote for my brother, uh, who recently started playing saxophone. I wrote it for his, uh, his 13th birthday, uh, thus the number 13. Uh, I intended for them to be uh, easy pieces that got progressively harder uh, as they went on, but uh, as it turns out, uh, they're a little more challenging than I expected. Uh, nevertheless, uh, Ben Schaefer, uh, the saxophonist you're going to hear tonight does an incredible job with them, uh, and I'm very excited for you to hear them. Uh, something you can listen for, uh, each one is very different, um, but in the last piece, uh, the longest of them, uh, the, uh, the short uh, melody line that the uh, saxophone plays at the beginning is repeated throughout the entire piece uh, with other things in between it. So you can try to hear, uh, if, if, if you'd like, that uh, melody continuing through the whole the whole piece. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy saxophone.
Hi, my name is Lewis Wall. The next piece you're going to hear is from me. It's called Music for Solo Flute. For this, I wanted to write something very dissonant that still had a lot of lyrical quality to it. You'll also hear some humming in unison with some flute notes. This was performed at the same time by Jennifer uh, as an extended technique that hopefully adds to the tone of the piece. I want to thank Jennifer Gartley for performing and recording this piece, and thanks for listening. Hope you enjoy.
Hi everyone, my name is Dragomir Page, and the next piece you're about to hear is Wild Nights, Wild Nights by Emily Dickinson. Um, I actually found her text through singing other um, choral works that were put to her text, and so that's how I found Emily Dickinson. Um, I think her texts work really well and flow well for voices, so that's why I decided to put Wild Nights to music. Um, I also used three upper voices, which you'll see in here with the score follow. Um, towards the beginning, it's more of a minor, sadder feel. Um, and then towards the middle, we get kind of more bright and uplifting. And I want you to hear if you can hear the difference and um, if your feelings change throughout the piece at all. And if you feel sad at the beginning and you feel more uplifted in the middle and then back to the opening um, kind of feeling and theme at the very end. I hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is Attica Schlegel, and you're about to hear my piece for tuba and piano titled Your Own Little Adventure. The main goal I had with this piece was to include a variety of textures, such as the piano playing in different registers, while maintaining a sense of adventure throughout the piece. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. 